Hey guys, this is Drew Brash through with DBB Audio. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to route an input source to a channel. So let's go ahead and dive in. The first thing I'll want to do is press the routing button to the right of the screen and verify where my inputs are coming from. For today, I have my inputs coming on the local inputs, meaning the back of the actual X32. If I was using a AES stage box, I would want these to be on the AES 50 port that that stage box is plugged into. But today, since I'm using the local inputs, I'm going to select local 1 through 32. The next thing that we want to do is select a channel to actually route our input to. By default, when you initialize the console, it is set up as one to one, meaning that input one on the back of the board will show up on channel one on your channel faders. Input 16 will show up on channel 16. Input 32 would show up on channel 32. But we can change this on a channel by channel basis, so let's go ahead and do that first. So we're going to select a channel and then press the home button. So we can see our channel 16 here. Now I have two options. I can either page select over to the config page or I can press the view button in the configuration preamp section. The first rotary knob is right here. And so this is how I can actually change the input going into this channel. So I can go from off, which will actually turn off this channel and make the scribble strip black. Or I can select input one all the way through input 32, as well as my aux inputs effects returns, and mix buses, 1 through 16. Today, I'm going to be plugging in a pastor microphone into input 32, and I want my pastor microphone to show up on my channel 16 here. So let's go ahead and select input 32. Now, when I select this, we'll notice that in the upper portion, it says input 32, as well as on the scribble strip, it will show input 32 underneath channel 16. If I change this to aux1, it would show aux1 up here, as well as aux1 underneath channel 16. Now, all the inputs that I've been talking about so far have been mono. What happens if we have a stereo input that we want to put on a stereo channel? Well, there aren't stereo channels for the X32, so you actually have to link two channels together. To do that, we would simply select a odd channel, and then we can link that under the configuration page by pressing the second rotary knob. And we can confirm, and now we have linked channel 15 and 16 together. You cannot link channel 14 to 15. That would be an even to odd. You can only link odd to even, meaning that I can link 15 and 16, 13 and 14, so on and so forth. Now let's go ahead and set up my inputs into 15 and 16 here. So I'm gonna press the home, page over to config. I have 15 selected here. So say this is input one, and then my 16 is coming in on input two. There we go. So I have input one on channel 15 and input two on channel 16. And that's as simple as it is to route an input source to a channel. Make sure to like or subscribe this video and also check out the rest of my version four tutorials on the X32. Thank you so much.